Do you have some? Nope. What makes you think I would have some? What do you have? I, I don't have anything. <laughs> Directions of Corbin. I've got nothing. And you can follow Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. Oh, Just no. got this. Juicy. Juicy. Okay. Smell it. Mm -hmm. Smell oh. it. Okay, we got a movie review. Welcome back. Welcome to back to the dream. Wait. To the Welcome your back. dreams were your ticket out. Welcome back. To that same old place that you laughed about. Great show. Welcome back, Cotter. For those of you who don't know, look it up, watch it. Put it up your nose with the rubber hose. That's a, that's good. Yeah. Vinny Barbarino. Sorry. Uh, it's nothing to do with John Travolta's life. claim to fame. That's All true. of that is essentially comparable. It's basically a remake. It is a remake. This is just basically <laughs> Welcome Back, Cotter turned into a motion picture. That's a joke. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Uh, we, uh, it's, it's Halloween Horror Month, um, so it, we watched a Assamese film, uh, first, uh, I forget the name of it, but you can watch our review of that, and now we watch La Pachapi, right? Sounds good to me. La Pachapi? La Pachapi. A drama horror mystery Marathi film, mm -hmm. uh, and I think the synopsis gives away. A little too much. Okay, so let's know. let me see. Let me see if I can read it out loud. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. That's almost a twist. It it's is. It's almost I, a twist at the end. It should be a bit more vague. Yeah. So, anyways, but it's basically um, a a pregnant lady goes into a village because her husband's getting beat up by somebody by goons and a bunch of. Scary stuff, stuff happens. happens. That's essentially what you need to know. Yeah. If you haven't watched it, please go watch it. Come back. We saw it. Where did we see it? Where did we watch it? Z. Z. Yeah. Z5. We saw it on Z5 uh, here, uh, but it's directed by Vishal Furia. Who was also the contributing writer to the story. Yes. And then it's uh, starring... Uh, uh, where's where's Pooja? Is this her? There she is. No, down at the bottom. Oh, okay. Why is she at the bottom? That's She's weird. She's the star. That's weird. Uh, That's Pooja. Very strange. Say your last name for me. Uh, Pooja Sawan. Why is it? Yeah, it's weird. Is it, it's alphabetical, I guess? It's, it's alphabetical, it's, which is stupid. Yeah, that's They dumb. should be doing it by the either the, the roll or star meter. Yes. Anyway. Yeah, weird. Anyways, um, but yes, starring her and then uh, it's Usa Knight. Yeah, small cast. And then Anil Gawas. And then a couple of, I can't tell who's the small supporting because it's just right. his actor, actress in the name and there's not even a picture. Yep. But anyways, it's basically a Marathi horror-ish, uh, I'd even, I'd hesitate to even say horror, but I guess it, it's on I put a it, I put mystery it in horror. horror, you think? I put it in okay. horror. But, Especially for Indian cinema. Yeah. Your initial thoughts, please. Um, well, the cool thing is while, right before watching this, I finally figured out my rating system. Oh, yeah. And it, it? it comes to a, a, a grade that I can give a film. Like if I was grading my class of theater students, I could basically, I figured it out. What I've comprised my rating system on are categories of, and this might bore you spitless, uh, but they are... Uh, starting with first of all, how much you hate surprise, Rithic? how much I, well, yeah, that and run here. Um, <laughs> if you don't know what that is, you don't follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, but five primary categories with some extras, and and then the, those categories include things. So okay. I, I, it's story is number one. Yeah, makes up twenty five percent of the grade, as does believability. And we've said this before, if it, if it strains credulity, then believability isn't a factor. It's just entertainment value. Yeah. Then acting. And directing and cinematography, I put them together because they're so hand in glove. Um, the score, and then some extras with a lot of films that you can throw in because they're not always predominant is visual effects and stunts. Yeah. And then if a film has a level of importance, I throw in some extra points. And I went through the list yeah. of my favorite films and films we reviewed, and I went, this Work, works. Worked out pretty well. Yeah, it works out pretty well. So for this film, um, on a grading scale of A, B, C, D, E, F being fail, it's an awful film. And basically what it means is this. If it's an A plus over a hundred points, because that can't happen, it's going to be one of my favorite films of all time. Yeah. If it's at least an A, I liked it, and I want everybody else to watch it. Yeah. If it's a B, I liked it, probably won't see it again. Yeah. If it's a C, meh. Yeah. If it's a D, I didn't like it, and you probably won't either. If it's an F, run and hide, don't watch it. <laughs> so this this movie for me 
uh, gets an A. Okay. I, I liked it and I would encourage other people to watch it. What takes it from being like a B plus into the A yeah. is because at the very end of it, yeah, you have to throw in some points for importance. Yeah, absolutely. Got to. But I, I was the thing we were talking about. It kind of, it almost gives it away in the yeah. in, in the synopsis. It doesn't. And we're not really, gonna. We'll have a spoiler section in yeah, a second. It, it doesn't really, but I just, I still don't uh, like that it, it, it says it shouldn't anything say that. about it. It shouldn't say that. Um, um, I I felt that um, it had for me. Of the films that we've seen that are scary, it's the scariest for me. It had the best yeah. jump scares. Yeah, def definitely. Um, I felt like it had a compelling story. In fact, I felt it was so compelling at points. I was like, dang, I'd love to make this film and set it in the Louisiana Bayou. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. That would be freaking yeah. cool. They definitely put a lot of um, Indian culture in it and, and, and um, certain things. Obviously, the huge message uh, yeah, we'll get to the that. end, which I, I what do you think? I thought it was going. I, I enjoyed it. It's not a perfect film. There's not, not at all. There's flaws that it had. Yes, of course, of course. Uh, but definitely an entertaining film. Yeah, uh, and one that it keeps you invested. Yeah, for sure. For and, sure. Uh, for 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 hearing so much about you know, India doesn't have a lot of horror genres. I mean, I've been impressed so far. This and the last one that we saw. Yes. This is a lot more horror than that one. That one was more yeah. fantasy. This was this little, little kids, fancy. Little kids and freak. Yeah. This is not for little kids. Absolutely. Don't watch this with a little um, kid. But the downsides would be, obviously, I'm betting they were strapped for cash a lot of times. And they so, You know what I found out? What? They not only had an incredibly low budget, they shot this bad boy in 16 days. Well, that's not surprising. Obviously, it was, it all, right. it was all one it's location. It's all inherent right which there. Which is great. But yes, it was um, extremely low budget. Yeah, and so I bet the actors were probably the most expensive part of it. Yeah. Um, and even some, probably not. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the since you could tell... So that that obviously affects the some of the visual effects. Even though I thought some of them were pretty darn good for a low budget film, I, I, was, up, I was impressed. Like the whole props, yeah, uh, I really enjoyed that part. I did too. Uh, but you could tell that obviously they did not have you know war money, you know, at all, <laughs> at all. At um, all. Yeah, and for what they probably had to shoot it with, and it, that that also affects you know stunts. So right. every time somebody like hits somebody over the head, you've got your own it, actors. It, it doesn't it doing their own. Didn't stunt look work. great. Right. That part. Agreed. And so anytime yeah, I didn't give it any points yeah, for stunts. Yeah. So anytime you see some action stuff like that, it's usually because you don't have a lot of money to pull off what you need to. It cost money to one make stuff look good in VFX yeah. and to make stuff look good in stunt, in stunt work. It cost money, and that's one of the things people don't realize. It's like it it costs a lot of. But money. But I will say. One of the things I was so pleased with right off the bat, when they, okay, spoiler time, we're gonna start talking about spoilers. Go watch it. So go watch it, come back. It's a good Halloween movie. When, really good Halloween movie. Yeah. Um, it's when, I, I, anyway. So the when they were in the car at the very beginning and they're driving and he's been beaten up, yeah. I noticed how good the makeup was on his face. Yeah, yeah. They put that nice glossy sheen that happens on a fresh wound, mm -hmm. and then I was paying attention to it. The minutia detail of continuity, this got really high points for continuity for me because his makeup was not only maintained, but he lost that glossiness as, as the, the time went on. Yeah. Also, the smearing of her, her bendy and the mark on her head, they never blew the continuity on that. Yeah. They maintained that as they went forward. So really, whoever was in charge of continuity, Whoever was in charge of this collaborative effort with the score, mm -hmm. I thought the score, score was, was real great. nice. Great, real nice, really high marks for the score. It added the some of the suspense to the to a lot of the scenes. Yeah, I loved the jump yeah. scares, yeah. and the score obviously helps with the yeah. jump scare. And I found the acting, for the most part, you know, there wasn't anything where I just would say, "Man, you got to watch this because this is a powerhouse of the performance." Yeah, but I felt like. Pooja she did great. Did great. Yeah. Great and screen. I presence. thought the grandma did, uh, or the, who I don't know. Yes. She was a grandma, but I thought she did really well. Her but. first monologue, yeah, where she's starting to tell her story and she gets a little bit emotional and her 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 stillness. She, she was really good. Yeah, and I, I can't tell because it just I know says actress who those two are. I remember I knew Pooja because I was looking her up. This isn't her, right? Mm -hmm. Too sorry that we're. To Savi, to to that's her, right? It's I think that was her name, right? That's her. Yes, that's her. Usha Naik, and yeah. forgive me if I'm mispronouncing uh, that I, name. She did really, really, really well, well. Uh, and I think she's been around for some time. She comes across as someone who this isn't her first rodeo. That's yeah. for sure. So um, she definitely carries herself as somebody with experience. We've probably seen her like ten times, probably. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and even the the little kids did a good job. They they did. It reminded me it wasn't it. 
But at first when it started, I thought, are we gonna do an adaptation of Children of the Corn here? That, that was my wife's first thing. Goes, yeah. She saw children and uh, tall a stuff tall that looked like corn. Like, is this the Indian version of Children of the Corn? I think it was actually sugar cane, I believe. But it wasn't mm -hmm. anything, it isn't no. at all like Children of the Corn. Uh, and then I thought it was gonna be something like Get Out for a mm -hmm. while. Cause I was like, it, is she putting her like in the sunken place well, I, with a right. silent person? I thought that, or I also thought everybody here is dead. <laughs> Except the husband and wife. None yeah. of these people are alive. This uh, is a haunted So let's field. talk about the story, uh, because I think the story, we'll get to the end part of the story in a second, but I thought they did a really good job of keeping the mystery going. Me too. In terms of, because I, me and my wife do that all the time. We try, I try to figure out. It's right. just my brain naturally brain goes, naturally goes I, I, I want, Who's who, what's what. Who's who, what's going to happen, right. what's the twist. Right. Uh, and all that. And the one I did call was that he was going to be their son, her husband. Was gonna yeah, be, that I wasn't aware of that one. Yeah, he was going to be because she talked about he's like he went to a city mm -hmm. and got married and all that, and I was like, that's that's their son, and then right. they kind of went away from it, right? And then they brought it back at the end. So that one I called, um, but the whole everything else, I thought it was really unique because it didn't go in the normal direction that I, I no, it wasn't predictable would uh, would go in, and no. so I I give well, the story a there was a plus. there was one thing that was predictable, but I didn't give it any marks. And yes, the the story because story is so heavy, I gave it very high marks yeah, for, yeah, yeah. for story. It was original, but there is one thing that was stereotypical, and I wrote this in my uh, notes while I was watching it. When she's telling him after he gets back, when she's saying something's wrong here. We've got to get out of here. Yeah. And he's trying to calm her down, right? I wrote this. So many problems and so many films would be settled if husbands just listened to <laughs> and trusted their wives. How many horror films have we seen or other films where the wife has a legitimate concern and the husband's like, Hun, Linda, Linda, listen. Linda, yeah. Linda, honey, listen. But and obviously he didn't because oh, yeah. he didn't care about he it. He didn't care one iota. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the, the whole story is like... Great story. Keeping, a, involving a witch, involving yes. kind of kids who are uh, kind of dead or possessed. Right. Or, or just... And I really liked the twist. It reminded me a lot of Michael Flanagan. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that the, the witchy ghost person that we at first think is the antagonist is actually a sympathetic mm -hmm. character yeah and then when you see the thing at the end like i thought it was really powerful the moment when she's gonna stab herself and she's pleading with her to not make her do it mm -hmm. and she the 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 witch ghost woman who's all burned is screaming non-stop mm -hmm. And she's pleading with her and saying, I understand you. I understand this. I'm, I'm not going to, it stops here. And it also, because of exposure to this time of year and Bengal and everything with Indrani, I thought, it's interesting. October's Halloween month, but it's also Durga Puja. Mm -hmm. And this is a really mother-focused mm -hmm. Halloween film. So yeah. the whole, you know, the goddess aspect and the empowerment of a woman I, was a surprising, unexpected and that's where the importance level came yeah. in. Was that, and then the obvious thing we'll talk about in a second. The, um, the, the whole sequence where she was alone for three days in that part and all the illusions that the witch kind of put on, I yes. thought it was great because you couldn't tell what was real and what was not. Right. What was, she, was it really happening or was she just seeing a, a vision? Yeah. I yeah. thought the, the bunch of great sequences in there uh, and well done by our, our lead actress. Um, but like when she was dropping the baby in the well and then you just see a, a well full of children. Yes. And obviously the symbolism that that involves there. Yes. And then the other uh, time when um, you had both of the mothers stabbing themselves, I yes. thought it was actually really good prosthetics. Great prosthetics <laughs> for a <laughs> just low, stab low budget and blood film. coming out. I was, I I was really impressed. Yeah. I thought, hats off to you I guys. thought they did a really good job with that. Um, a, a really good jobs on the, on the shooting of everything. I didn't so much like the hard black cuts almost there's a bunch of them they're just it faded it's to, yeah it faded it's to black probably about a hundred times it won't surprise me if the director's it's, like yeah i feel you corbin yeah it's probably because of budget yeah i get it but that was one of my gripes with the film is like every it was every the exact other same fade is fade it was the one and a half second blackout fade, fade, and fade up <laughs> yes fade. <laughs> i was like okay uh stop doing that <laughs> Please, yeah. Um, but yeah, like you said, probably budget. But yeah, let's talk about the end. Um, the important, obviously, you figure out exactly what was going on with the big monologue and, and thing at the end with the mom and the, them all in the house, and she finally confronts them. Right. And the fact that the village has been sacrificing 
girls and yes. and all and all in the symbolism that has for parts of India that not only do stuff like this, but also the way you see treat women and yes. girl children in general. Yeah. Of like, which is why it's I think at least in most parts of India illegal to figure out the gender of a baby. That is why before correct because of stuff like this that happens correct. It's just it's an awful awful thing. But I, obviously, if if ever a film brings that to light. I love it and calls that out because that is monstrous. It's evil. Yeah. There's no other word. It's 100% evil. The, the, the statistic they showed at the end, and I did, the minute I saw it, I looked, I, I started looking up things from the United Nations and other world organizations. And, and sadly, um, India ranks way at the top, mm -hmm. um, like number one or two. Uh, and it's, sadly, it happens in a lot of Asian countries with infanticide. Uh, and, and it's, it's, it's a, Staggering. I'm not speaking hyperbolically here. It's a Holocaust level. Yeah, absolutely. Of and that that's not even taking into consideration abortions that take place. Yeah. I'm talking about living children who disappear because they were girls and you never hear from them again because they were disposed of in the millions. And that's what we know. Yeah. It's Daggering, and and that in and of itself. I mean, I thought the twist we were going to get that had the message was the whole woman empowerment and the 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 fact that this ghost haunting bad guy turned out to be the sympathetic bent neck lady. Yeah, the that message of infanticide was really hit me right between the eyes of. I know I've heard stories about this. I didn't realize it was this big of a problem. Yeah, and we've seen films touch on the topic of. The way certain parts of India treat, treat women. women, right? Like, um, what was the one um, article thirteen or what was it? When obviously they basically killed their daughter for being a lesbian. Yes, and or different stuff like that, and how they treat women, and so it's it's not an uncommon um, thing to for filmmakers because obviously art has always been a way for artists to kind of hold a mirror up to society. Correct. And, and, not always, and hopefully bring about social change. Yeah, not always. Some is obviously strict entertainment. But in terms of art, art, art. Yeah, high art. <laughs> high art. Yeah. That's usually what it's been about. Yes. Uh, is, is, is bringing uh, something to light um, that should be brought to light through your platform. Uh, and te telling a message. Agreed. Um, and this definitely did that in a very unique way in terms of a horror film, in terms of one that you didn't expect to get the style of message from. Yeah. But it kind of, I'm hoping, smacked people in the face. It did It did me, and yeah. I hope it does other people. And that's why I would like to see... The, the really great thing is that it's a worthy movie to watch if mm -hmm. you like scary films. It's a worthy. Yeah. It's a worthy run. I will probably, after watching it a couple times, I'll probably add it to my favorite films because I can guarantee... When Halloween comes around next year, it'll be a movie I recommend to people and say, you know what will surprise you? You should watch this Marathi film. Mm -hmm. And I, I love the fact that it's a recommendation as well from a, 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 an industry that most, most Americans only think Bollywood. And there's a reason for it. And it's because it's the predominant industry that's been marketed here. Mm -hmm. And to be able to recommend in particular, because we have, we've said it, we have so few horror films that we can recommend. Mm -hmm. It's really cool to recommend a Marathi film that's yeah. this good. And Fun fact, the, the, the three ones that I would recommend are all regional. Two, yeah. of, them, two of them are, like, especially, obviously, uh, Amis. Yeah, love Amis. Amis. And this one, and you, if, if I have somebody who I know that they're into the, the style of the uh, Amis, um, Asami's one we just watched. Right. I would obviously I would recommend, recommend that, that as one well. as well. So it's all regional so far. Though. Agreed. Um, so I Agreed. think the other one that hits me, which is not the regional one, is I love Street. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and just... I liked Tumbad, but I love Tumbad. I yeah. love Street. Yeah. yeah. But some people I feel would love Tumbad. I agree. Because I know there's a bunch of people that I would definitely, loved it way more than we loved I would, Even though it's not on my all time favorite list, I would absolutely let people know if you're looking for a good film that came out of India that's scary, you might really like Tumbad. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But this this was a great, a, a um, really good movie. Yeah, um, we talked about. The, I just wanted to make sure we got to all the points. Uh, well, we, we cinematography I thought was actually really, really nice. The really whole good. film, in terms, really especially quality. for something that you know had a a small budget. Um, it's it was, I thought it was shot really well in terms of making you feel like the corn maze was this big thing that you can't get out of. And yeah, now that you mention it, because yes, it was great. Lighting was uniformly really, really nice. 
And interestingly, and I'm sure they did this because of budget and just fatigue, this is probably the most daylit horror film you're ever gonna see. <laughs> the amount of scary sequences that are taking, out, taking place in bright sunlight, they did not use darkness as a primary contributor to the scare factor. Yeah. And that's a pretty yeah. high level achievement for a scary film. Absolutely, because obviously darkness brings with it a level of scariness. Dar scariness, mystery, yeah. danger, you but can't also, see. It's, um, I don't know if I'd say it's cheaper to film at night, but it's, it you, is. Do, you don't have to match color as much because yeah. you, there's no artificial light coming in. Correct. Um, you have so, much more control over the elements. You're gonna be less likely to have, not that they would have had sound issues there. They were in the, they were out in the boondocks as it were. But uh, I, I'm just, for a film that was done over such a short period of time. And even though I said at the outset that there wasn't anything where you would say, wow, you need to see this particular performance. I will say, um, the two main ladies who carried the film, but especially what Pooja had to do, mm -hmm. there's a lot that she had to look at that never was there. Yeah. And I felt like she did an exceptionally good job in being believable with having to react to things that were never there. Were never if there. you were watching the on set, it was just imagination from her part. And I thought that she did a fantastic job with that. Yeah, absolutely. Totally agree. Uh, well, let us know what you thought about this film and what should be the next scary core Halloween film. Bring them on. And also Marathi. What should be the next? I think we've seen 10 or 11, I want to say. I want to say it's, uh, it's, you're right. I think it's 10 around, or 11. I think it's around there. And they've, They've all been good. I don't think we've had a bad one. Not the Wrong would probably be the one that we liked the least. Right. But it wasn't because he wasn't, wasn't good in it. It was just the film as a whole. We probably just liked just the least. But yeah. it's one of those industries that's consistently putting out really, really quality Absolutely. content. Absolutely. Which is wonderful. So let us know for the next Halloween and the next Marathi film. Down below.